There is a Chinese robot on Mars. And it's discovered some very strange and new things about the red planet. Like, is there life on Mars? China might have the answer. This is Zhurong. As far as rovers go, it's about medium-sized. Basically a copy of NASA's Old Spirit and Opportunity vehicles from 2004, but it's still pretty impressive for a first attempt at landing on Mars. Zhurong launched as part of the Tianwen-1 mission in the year 2020. At the time, China had experience with two moon landings, so jumping straight to Mars was ambitious. Prior to that, only three space programs had ever successfully touched down on the Red Planet. The Soviet Union was first in 1971. Their Mars 3 lander reached the surface, deployed its instruments, sent back this one grainy picture of the Martian landscape, and then shut down never to be heard from again. You might not know that the British landed on Mars in 2004 with a small probe named Beagle 2. Unfortunately, half of Beagle's solar panels got stuck in the process of deploying, and it was never able to power on. And then, of course, there is NASA. We know that they've been very successful with exploration of Mars since the first Viking lander in 1976, all the way up to the present day with their SUV-sized nuclear-powered vehicles and even a tiny helicopter that flew on Mars for the first time. So when the Chinese threw their hat in the ring, the odds were not in their favor. In an effort to maximize the chance of success, a landing site for Zhurong was chosen in the flat plains of the Utopia Planitia region. It's in the northern hemisphere of Mars, which is believed to have been covered in a large ocean several billion years ago. Meanwhile, NASA's Perseverance rover, also launched in 2020, was touching down in the nearby Jezero Crater, a region littered with steep hills and ancient river valleys. Now, just because China's landing site was safe and flat, that does not mean it's boring. There's actually a long forgotten secret hiding in the sands of Utopia Planitia that the Chinese may have come close to revealing. This is the same place where NASA's Viking 2 landed in 76, and it's where many people believe the Americans discovered life on Mars. But if they did, then they also immediately killed it by accident. This is not a story that you'll hear very often. According to the official record, no life has ever been found on Mars. But unofficially, scientists found something really weird in the Martian soil that Viking collected. Since this was our first ever up-close experience with Mars, people of the 1970s didn't know what they were going to find out there, but most of them were extremely confident that there would be alien life of some kind. So they devised an experiment, and this is an extremely simplified explanation of how it worked. They would scoop up some material from the surface and pull it inside the lander to study. Then they squirt the material with a little bit of water that had some nutrients mixed in. The idea was that any microbial life inside the soil would drink the water, consume the food, and then release CO2 as a byproduct. And what the experiment found was that the hydrated soil did produce CO2 gas. So aliens confirmed, right? Well, part two of the experiment was to squirt more nutrient water into the same material a little later, with the idea being that the now thriving colony of bacteria would produce even more CO2. But that was not the case. It turned out the more water they added, the less CO2 was produced. This led NASA to conclude no aliens. But that has not stopped researchers from speculating over the years. If we are talking about a bacteria that has survived on Mars, an environment drier than the driest desert on Earth, then maybe it wasn't equipped to binge on nutrient-rich water. Maybe what we actually did was drown the aliens. At least they died well fed. Either way, that's just to illustrate that there was always potential for China to find something incredible with their Mars rover, even if it wasn't out there rambling over mountain ranges. Zhurong was able to achieve a successful touchdown on the Martian surface using an old school method. We've seen NASA get creative with some high-tech landing systems. They've used big inflatable balls to land rovers in the 90s and 2000s. Then they upgraded to these sky crane systems in more recent decades. All of this is necessary to achieve a soft landing with a heavy payload. 
but the Chinese rover is on the lighter side, so they chose a more simplified 